<laughs> That's the fuck I get for trying to be goddamn funny. <laughs> Fast lips on Patreon then sent me a message. I got to make sure I share this with y'all. Basically, he said that this song right y'all, he said, Raw, my dude, it's time to put some order in this bitch with respect to Rage Against the Machine and to realize what real energy on a metal song for, for MF men really is. There is my Hall of Fame sub. Very happy to support when possible and preferably not right after eating. Damn, what the fuck kind of song is this? Please react to the song Disaster Piece from Slipknot's Iowa album, the studio version. Please tell the rest of your audience I say you're welcome. And please give every MF who thinks this song is too hard a cupcake. I hear they're just as soft. Fast lifts on Twitter. Best regards. Okay. He talking spicy. He talking crazy. He acting like this shit is He trying to say this shit is harder than rage. What is he talking about? Now we gonna hope that this now Slipknot ain't missed for me yet, but we gonna hope that this strikes a nice balance, okay? I want this shit to be fire. I'm not this one at all. So you know what I'm saying? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. My first time hearing Iowa. I should have got a fucking pump. I look flat. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Had to get a quick pump because it was looking skinny as. I was looking skinny in these streets. Come on. I don't hear it in one, in one ear. Is that on purpose? It is. Kind of crazy white boy shit you got me listening to. Jesus Christ. I already see what type of song this is. Mm, I already can see. And from your message, I can tell what type of man you are. I know what type of energy this is. Jesus Christ. This album cover looks scary as hell. What is that? A, is that a goat head? And like a... Is that a moose ass behind a goat head? Put a moose ass and goat and a goat head is crazy. But I'm here for it. Come on. Let's see what we're doing. Jesus. That shit started off at... 5,000 BPM. I need the lyrics, I need the lyrics, I need the lyrics. Where my motherfucking shirt at? Hell no. Did he just say I'ma slit your throat and fuck a goat? Is this the depths of the trial white music? Put my goddamn shirt on. For I goddamn. What in the hell am I listening to? Did he just start the song up by saying he's gonna slit your throat and fuck a goat? No. Let me calm my ass down and see what's going on here. Jesus Christ. Taylor says, yeah, I want to slit your throat and fuck the womb. Bro, he did not say F a goat. He said, I want to slit your throat and F the wound. Push my face in and feel the swoon. Dig inside, find a little bit of me. Because the line gets crossed when you don't come clean. My wormwood meets your pesticide. You will never get out because you were never alive. I am infinite. I am infant. Finit. Come a little closer and I'll show you why. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep giving it a chance. I'm going to keep giving it a chance. Whoa. 
This heavy for me, champion. This heavy for Big Hollywood. I ain't gonna lie, I can lift a lot of weight too. This heavy for me. It's supposed to be like a, a anti-bullying song. He said, "Or how does it feel to be looked locked inside a, another dream that can never change, never had a chance of being realized? What the f are you looking at? I'll tell you what you're looking at. Everyone you've ever effed and laughed at, bro. Is this a? Hey, what's the message of this goddamn song? What in the world?" Oh my god, bro, my ears are bleeding. Like, oh my god. Whoa, I need a second, bro. I need a second. What the fuck is they doing, ladies and gentlemen? Nah. What? The Slipknot songs I've heard so far don't sound like this. They're, they're not this aggressive, like this wow. Like duality and psychosocial and they don't sound like this. What is this? What happened? What made them mad? Who pissed them off? Shout out to the gothic people. I don't really know what gothic means, but I just know motherfuckers wearing black and shit and, and, and be all quiet and shit. That's what being gothic, right? You be wearing black and being quiet. <laughs> Problem. What's wrong? You all right, bro? You need to talk about it. This motherfucker said, "Pull your hands away. I'm gone. Goodbye. It's so depressing. Withering away. Take a look inside. My soul is missing. All I have is dead. So I'll take you with me. I feel like I'm erased. So kill me just in case. That's some good writing. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, don't tell me. You got to right. Look how good right there, chap. Yeah, you know But what you talking about? Oh my gosh. I need to get this shit to YouTube immediately because I need y'all. The white white community, 
I've been fucking with y'all now. All right? We got a good relationship going on. We're trying music, white music, and everything. Fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? However, answer. Answer for this. Explain yourself. Hmm? Explain yourself, white folk. I don't get this one. This is what I before I start the series, I was like, ah, okay, I ain't gonna try to, you know, I never really tried too much white shit before, too much white music shit. You know what I'm saying? Before before this fucking series started, this is what the hell I thought the the all the music was about. Was this this crazy shit right here? This shit sound dangerous. It's not like people gonna listen to this shit and go do some crazy shit. It's not like you listen to this before you about to go before you go fuck something up. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, champion. I'm sure that's not the case. Don't get me wrong. I would imagine at least. I would imagine for most people, obviously, it wouldn't be famous. This, I'm sure it's a famous song, famous band. So clearly, this must not be inspire people to do nothing crazy. Like, I listen to rap, and there's a lot about shit about shooting people and X, Y, Z, and it don't inspire me to do that. I take it in a different way. So I'm sure it's the same concept for people who like this song. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy who, Fistfuls, who sent me this. However, this song for me, I can't even really rate it. I ain't gonna lie. I would rate it very low for me. For my taste, it's not for me. You know what I'm saying? I was excited. I was hyped up. But this shit is too heavy. All right. Big Hollywood, not that deep than the white music yet. You know what I mean? You get, it's too much dip on my chip. This, this shit got them. Um, I'm still on the fucking 50 yard line. Maybe the 40, 30 yard line. This shit all the way by the opponent's goal line. This is this the end game right here. I ain't ready to score a touchdown. Especially when it's talking about slitting the throat and putting put something inside the, the wound. Okay, now. All right. Come on. Come on. This crazy. Thanks for the suggestion, though. Much love to my man's fist fools. Appreciate you for supporting the Patreon. I sat through the whole thing. I ain't stopped the song, bro. I'm sweating in fear. All right? Craziness. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with being your boy, Big Hollywood Raw TV. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment. Share this video around to all your friends and all that. Until the next one, I'm being your boy, Big Hollywood, and I'm gone. And hit the join button on YouTube as well. Jesus Christ.